Honestly, kind of feeling like a million bucks right now. What is up, you guys? I'm super excited for this weekend. A really awesome opportunity has popped up. I'll be doing commentary on Big Ten Network for the Nebraska versus Iowa men's gymnastics competition. Super exciting, kind of a dream come true because I've wanted to do it for a long time. And fun fact, before COVID hit, I was actually supposed to be doing commentary for Michigan men's gymnastics, the alma mater, versus Iowa men's gymnastics to start it off and, and then do commentary analysis for Big Ten Championships and NCAA Championships, which was supposed to be hosted in Ann, in Ann Arbor. So I was like super bummed for that last year, but I think this is just a really big testament to you know what God has in store for you. Nothing can stop it. So I'm really excited for this weekend, excited to take you along with me to the extent that I can and maintain my professionalism. Uh, just stoked for this opportunity because it'll open some doors up, I guarantee it, and it'll just be fun. So heading to Chicago in the morning, so I'm gonna get packed up and take you guys with me. I always pack my subs to make sure that I'm ready to go with my dailies and then some. So I got four scoops of post-workout protein and I got six scoops of megawatt because I take it almost daily. Got four scoops of level one, probably two for the flight there, two for the flight back. Three servings in my dailies and then some BCAs just to keep me throughout the day. That just about covers everything that I can pack right now. So until tomorrow morning, well, it is the morning of, it's about 6.30 right now. Gonna go on a brief walk before making some breakfast and, and finalizing the packing before heading out. Okay, so I made it to my gate, had a few coaches meetings prior to getting on the flight, um, just to discuss some things about the team prior to Saturday's broadcast, and then we'll be on the way. Getting ready to take off here. Typically like to use plane rides to read, write, reflect, and get any work done that I can. So cue the cliche takeoff and landing sequence. Spotted right, this guy wearing hawkers. That's just confirmation. Okay, so I got my rental car and apparently the hotel's like 45 minutes away, so we're on it. I have made it to my hotel. Let's get this show on the road. Stepping in. I think we can Kind of views we got. Wow. Right off of Lake Shore Drive. On travel days, time typically goes by pretty quickly because you just don't know what to account for. So one of the first things I do when I get into a new hotel, unpack, obviously unwind a little bit, but I gotta hit the gym like first thing if I hadn't got it in, in the morning. So that's what I'm gonna do. Probably meditate for a moment, have a few emails to send, then I'm gonna hit the gym. Get in some shoulder work and then just go and the rest of the day, prepare for this competition tomorrow. And now I'm about to go hit my workout, you know. I would put this megawatt in something, but right now I'm, I'm all for efficiency, so I'm gonna just dry scoop this bad boy, and then throw some BCAs in my water because I'm not trying to go catabolic because I have not eaten in a while, but I need to get this workout done and then go grab some food. Woo, bottoms up. And then I brought BCAs because, again, I'm not trying to burn up all my muscle on this essentially fasted workout. So I throw this in some water and drink that as I go. And it'll kind of help me stay energized and keep my body strong throughout the workout. So let's get it. Oh, gee. It's because I'm a gee. This is how you know it's about to go down. It's not even always about the physical aspect all the time for me it's just it's about the mental aspect the clarity you get when you like lift and the strength you feel the confidence that you get when you're building your strength and you're just doing something to help yourself ah i love it we're gonna go ahead and close it out with a little bit of cardio now 
just get the blood flowing. Get a little bit of protein in my system, and then it's time to go eat some dinner. A little smoothed up, a little cleaned up. Been a bit indecisive but I really want some steak right now so I'm gonna head over to Capitol Grill hope they have some space for one well no availability so I'm gonna try one more steakhouse and if that don't work I don't know what I'm gonna do fingers crossed I saved the last bite for you guys That steak was exactly what I was looking for. That was a delicious dinner. Great conversation with the waiter. Back to the hotel for the night. I'm gonna study up on these teens, watch some film, head to bed. See you in the morning. Morning. Today, because I have the opportunity to do so, I'm going through what is an ideal morning for me, which would be to wake up, brush my teeth, get the day planned, read, write, meditate, and, and go about my day. I'm reading Man's Search for Meaning, and the author says, you know, discipline. He, he, one second, let me, let me quote it exactly so I don't mess it up. I think this is super pertinent for right now in our current society. He says, freedom is in danger of degenerating into mere arbitrariness unless it is lived in terms of responsibleness. That is why I recommend the Statue of Liberty on the East Coast be supplemented by a Statue of Responsibility on the West Coast. And I just thought that, that was beautifully said because I think nowadays people take for granted the freedom that we have, forgetting that the price of freedom, although paid by our soldiers, is also discipline the price of freedom is discipline like I'm rather free I would say you know I'm not tied to a particular nine to five job however I have to be responsible probably more so in certain aspects to make sure that I continue to create and continue to push the envelope and continue to develop things and I think that's just so important to remember that as you increase your discipline and your responsibility, you can increase your freedom. And if you don't have that freedom and flexibility that you want, you need to start looking at ways to increase your discipline and increase your ability to respond or your responsibility. So you, once that freedom is granted to you, you're good to go and you can prosper. And I'm gonna keep doing my dailies, but I just thought that, that was super interesting. All right, it's time to go pay them dues. You know what it is, arm day. Again, since this is going to be a fasted workout, I haven't broke my fast, breakfast, break fast. I haven't done that yet. Uh, scoops of BCAs just to keep me from burning through myself. Um, and then, you know, a scoop of megawatt to start it off. Even though it keeps messing me up, I'm gonna dry scoop again. I'm gonna change it up. Get it. I have never seen a couch on an elevator. I definitely had to use this. I could not pass that opportunity, but there's no way. When you're pushing yourself in the gym, I want you to remember that you pushing yourself is different than someone else pushing themselves. So get to your level, reach what you thought was your limit, go a little bit past that, and then keep it moving. It's 
FaceTime with the little sis. Well, they can't hear you, they gotta see you. Okay, <laughs> okay the work is done, workout. And post workout protein as always. I'm gonna go grab breakfast and then pour over some notes and review and get ready for this competition. Let's go! Been pouring over these team notes, making sure I watch some some footage on these guys and, and really have an understanding of it. And I'm really excited now. There's some awesome gymnastics about to happen today, and I really look forward to capturing this stuff on mic and on camera. How'd I do? I clean up well. I like to think so. <laughs> Honestly, kind of feeling like a million bucks right now. Hey, if I'm gonna have to wear a mask, it's got a match the suit. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so I'm walking up to the building now and we shall see how much I do inside with the vlog. I hope to get some good stuff for you guys as well. This is great. taking a little tour of the building. This is really cool, guys. It's like super cool. And they're super chill with me bringing my stuff and just bringing you along for the journey. Go for Ohio State. Will not be on camera, but I will be on air. Here's my setup for the day. Calling it from the chair. Yeah, unfortunately, they had a few mistakes there that they lost out on some some pointage. But um, other than that, they had some really clean gymnastics, and that's what you know the key has been to their their season has been remaining clean. I'm making a whole dictionary today. <laughs> And you can just see that the way they're swinging, today they came to play. I think after that last rotation they had where they we saw the, the results, the standings of being down, they knew going into high bar, a strong event for them, that they had to pick it up, and they did just that. Wow. Well, hopefully we see a couple more 14s here from Iowa's Hawkeyes high bar squad. Bennett Wong starting us off here. Nice Yamawaki. Stalder. Blind change. Nice giant jam. Again, that shoulder flexibility is crucial there. High bar is all about angles. These skills that they're doing need to end in the handstand or within 10, 15 degrees of that handstand without deduction. Dismount, a long jump for the half in, half out, and a stuck landing for Bennett Wong, who's gonna ring the stick bell, undoubtedly. Great first time doing commentary. Joel crushed it. Say what up for the vlog squad, Joel. I'm gonna be a social media star now. <laughs> it's a great performance, awesome competition. Iowa took the victory. And I got my feet wet in the commentary world. It was really fun. <laughs> well, you guys, I think that went very well. I'm gonna take this mask off now. Even though I look dashing with the matching suit, matching mask, I no longer wish to wear it. I think it did pretty well. It was really fun to commentate and get my feet wet in that and something I've always wanted to do, so journey continues. I made it back to my hotel and almost immediately got naked. <laughs> almost immediately got naked, did a meditation, wrote a little bit, and uh, man, I'm just reflecting on that. That was an awesome experience. I really hope to do that again sometime soon. Now I'm going to just uh, go eat some food, find a place to eat somewhere in Chicago, and enjoy the rest of the evening. I'm no longer used to seeing extremely tall buildings and it is mind-boggling i must say good choices have been made i think i'm chilling for the night i'm gonna eat and that's a wrap for today final day here in chicago it's like 8 20 right now i have to leave until about 3 30 so it gives me a little bit of time to explore maybe go see some things but first i'm gonna try and get 
tentatively all packed up. But I'm gonna go get brunch here at a place called Beatrix, and then uh, see where the day takes us. Kinda wanna explore Chicago. I'm gonna take the tripod with me and see if I can get some really cool shots. I know it's a little windy. I took the wind guard off the mic too, so hopefully you can hear me. It's Sunday, which means that it's my rest day. I'm gonna get in some active recovery through walking and just adventuring around. It's pretty neat already. Yeah, this COVID stuff is played out for me. The restaurant has maybe 30 people in it. It's a huge restaurant. Now I got five somewhere else. I'm here at Griddle 24. Should be good. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. No joke, you guys, one of the most clutch things about the Microfactor packets, well, I'm official, is that it is portable, right? Like, I'm just out and about, and I can take the, still get my micros in. Honestly, makes a huge difference in my natural energy and just my overall mental, emotional, physical stability throughout the day. So, seriously, check these out. It is a beautiful day out here. Okay, I uh, made it back from my walk. Got a little bit of time left, but I'm just chilling. I'm not trying to do too much more for this flight. I'm packed up, ready to go. So I'm just gonna go ahead and check out and head, up, head over to the airport. My work here is done. Actually, considering I have a few hours left, decided to stop by Millennium Park. Millennium Park? See the bean, you know, typical Chicago touristy stuff. Just checking out the bean from a distance right now. Socially distanced bean. All right. Okay, now I'm gonna head to the airport. I lied before. Had some more exploring to do. So I dropped off my rental car and I am now on the shuttle over to the airport. Looking forward to getting on this flight. Just chilling out. So I made it back to my gate and currently waiting for this flight. I have about an hour, hour and a half or so before we board. So I'm gonna start throwing some of this together and just hang out. So I missed the landing sequence because, well, I was kind of taking a nap. Now I'm back home, so that's just about done. It was a super awesome weekend, but it feels great to be back home. Honestly, the hands down best part had to have been watching I will win their last home competition in program history and commentating. It was freaking awesome. Well guys, that'll do it for this one. I am back, I'm unpacked, and that travel took it out of me, so I'm gonna get a little recovery sleep and recovery in. Go ahead and subscribe, hit that like button, and let me know what you think in the comments section. Again, this is just part of the process. I don't plan on doing vlogs all the time, but certainly wanna give you some behind the scenes and give you a feel of who it is that I am and how I handle myself and what I do. So be on the lookout, still some fitness content coming up, some other things in general, uh, but we're just gonna ride this out and ride the wave, so to speak. So again, hit subscribe, turn on those post notifications so you know when the next video comes out and I will see you guys soon. Ride the wave.